When troubleshooting a remote worker connectivity issue, we need to understand where the problem lies. Is it the user's home network or remote network, or is it potentially our VPN? Using SysTrack Resolve, we can start typing in the user's name, find the user and the system that they're on. The first thing that we will do is we will run it through a bunch of sensors to give us clues as to different things that are happening on this particular system. We see some real-time network impact. We have some memory issues. We have some Wi-Fi security issues. Moreover, we can also look at the last 24 hours. Looking at the last 24 hours, we can see, again, high CPU utilization, network pipeline saturation. When I click on this, it will give me a description. It gives me clues that the individual's remote network is potentially saturated. Going into black box data recorder, I can look at real time what is going on with this individual system. I will want to make sure that I'm on the network tab and I can look at the utilization as well as the Wi-Fi signal strength. Clicking on utilization, I will be able to graph over a period of time. Hiding sensors and at focus, I can see for a duration the utilization was very high. Clicking on an individual point in time will take me back to that point in time where I can do my investigation as to what is potentially causing the issue. Here we can see utilization now is at 93%. Looking at our applications down below, sorting by network traffic, we can see the user is inside of Teams. That is the yellow bar that has the active focus. However, we also see Chrome running in the background. Looking at Chrome, we can see an astronomical amount of network traffic being generated from Chrome. To further investigate this, we can also look at what this is doing in regards to our gateway latency. Changing network to connections, we can look at the application as well as the gateway latency. And here we can see Outlook is over a thousand milliseconds. Looking at default gateway at 863 milliseconds. Clicking on this number will allow me to graph that. Here we can see when the network was not saturated. Chrome started consuming up a lot of network utilization causing the pipe to be saturated, causing all of the applications that the user uses to also be slow. In this scenario, the user may have called and said, Teams is slow, and the issue had nothing to do with Teams. It was an application running in the background, saturating the network or the remote pipe, causing Teams to be slow. In the event that you come in and you see the default gateway latency trend like this very high and you don't see any applications consuming a lot of network traffic, most likely there is something else on that remote network that is saturating that pipe. You need to look at other devices, iPhones, TVs, gaming systems that may also be using that same network causing the saturation, impacting the user experience. Again, as another example, if we come back to when things were good, we will look at what our application latency is and our gateway latency. Here we can see what's normal. During the time of saturation, everything slowed down as a result of a remote network.